Okay guys, welcome back. So off the back of how much positive feedback we got on the two videos where we talked about um, driver setup and, and iron setup and, and sort of the differences really that, that make each of those optimized. Um, we felt like, you know, let's, let's kind of fill in the gap, the, the middle pieces. Uh, let's look at hybrid, something people really struggle with, Matty. We get a lot of comments, you know, with people going, where does hybrid even fit in? It's kind of in a no man's land of their setup. It's it's not an iron. It's not a it's not a fairy wood. It's quite literally a hybrid I know, I know. of those two. And and a lot of people are still twenty years on, unsure how to play that particular club. Absolutely, that was overwhelmingly the number one comment we received on that last video. Was this is great, but fairy wood and hybrid, I'm lost. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can I can figure out how to get the ball position back and hit down on the iron. I can figure out with the tee ball teed up in the driver. How do I hit up uh, on that one to get the right launch and spin? Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the middle of that lies these two that we're going to look at today. So we'll start with the hybrid. Yeah. Why don't you walk me through kind of the setup mistake you see? Yeah. Um, and then we'll hit some shots kind of illustrating what that causes and then we'll correct it. Yeah. So I normally see hybrid. I, I can actually see more people ball forward thinking okay. hybrid is a wood. So we've got it way too far yeah. forward in the stance. Too far forward in the stance. You yeah. see kind of ball position there. You know, it's it's kind of a little too too much up by the lead foot in fairy wood sort of driver position. Right. And and this, the result of that match is too much applied loft and a scrapey strike. Of course. Probably a bit thin in the head as well, a bit low in the head. So all of those things really rob you of, of a proper strike and distance. It's not going to go anywhere, right? It's, it's not going anywhere. And then the opposite of that is people go, well, I'll just put it back in my stance and I'll just hammer down on it. Yep. Um, you know, back just, here see if they can get you know something from just just being steep on it gotcha. and again that player tends to get the the rising the flight. riser and again they won't get the distance that they're looking for definitely so let's definitely. hit one where we've got your first air way too far forward yes yeah and almost the player's almost trying to lift the ball up at that point trying to they? lift it and also you, you know we see that player tends to kind of hook it a little hook bit. It a bit okay all right Okay, you've struck that lovely, but you've definitely hooked it too much. So as the golf club, as the hybrid sort of rotates past um, sort of the ideal spot, you're not able to keep the face uh, left of the target. That's, that's really the primary thing. You're, that face has to be left of the target. Yes. As somebody who hits a draw, you can't, you can't do well unless you keep the face left of the target. You can tell by that start line your face got closed Right, okay. pre-impact, right? And so tell me, like 1.7, or sorry, 1.6, I, I was actually, in fact, hitting up on that. Yeah. So yeah. what I'm going to struggle with hitting up on it is you're going to strike the lower part of the face. A little bit low in the head, predominantly. I mean, yeah. you didn't on that particular one. You didn't do the shaft forward enough. That It was high launch, but it was low spin. So and let's hit a couple more. We'll probably sure. see a little bit more of that. A scrapey hit. Yeah. That was a that was that was like a drop kicky one. I think that's the one that a lot of people will hit. Like it doesn't quite get the distance. It didn't yeah. feel very good. And I, I, I well, I hit up on it two degrees. Mm. That felt really thin. Yeah, that that's the thin one. Yeah. So you've got a pretty wide range. You've got kind of high high straight but short. You got right and long, and you got left and low and short. Yeah, so launch conditions completely flip around on that. When you lose the high launch, low spin, it goes goes completely opposite, and uh, obviously you, you lose the, the distance. Okay, so let's, okay. let's flip into the other player. So now we're talking about playing the ball. So for me, I would think the irons are going to go just forward of center here. Yeah. Going and overdoing this with the hybrid is really going more towards the, the trail foot in that case. Yeah, more towards that, and I see this a lot as well. Um, you know, for, for players who can t tend to aim a little bit left, uh, right as well, uh, left for the, the right-handed players. Offset it. And, and you kind of just hit that kind of, you know, steep chop at gotcha, it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, let's see what the launch conditions look like when we do that. So way back in the stance. Perfect example. Looks like it's going to get there, but yeah, it's got not it. enough so legs, you're, right? you're kind of halfway there, you've got hope. And then a gust of wind comes up and just kills it flat. 
<laughs> so, so eight launch, five thousand. No yeah. good. So it wasn't it wasn't a bad strike. No. You've just applied a steep, pretty neutral but open face in the launch conditions. You know, seven launch, five thousand spin. No good. Uh, no good. So if the face is, let's say the face is worse and it's open, you're really spinning it left. If you happen to shut that face, God help you, because it's a duck hook right. That's right. Okay. So attack. what do you, if you get someone in here who's a really good hybrid player, yeah. what are the delivery numbers? They are slightly down on it. Okay, two, right? one, two? Um, yeah, one, one, two, some, somewhere in, in round about there. Yep. They, they're normally always down on it though. Normally yeah. never, even the zero kind of angle attack struggles a Not little nice. bit with, uh, with hybrids. So outdoors you'd look to bruise the grass a bit in front yeah, of the ball? Yeah, a little, little kind of divot just out in front of the golf ball, get yep. your low point maybe two inches ahead of the ball. Ball position? Ball position would be probably in a round, I'd like to put it in like four or five iron position. Gotcha. Somewhere right about there. Okay, so bad was here. Yeah. I'm gonna go a good solid bit. So center my stance there, it's probably two ball widths up of that. Perfect. So if you were two down, three into out here, okay. would be lovely. You'll, you'll carry this 240, it'll be perfect. That should be pretty good. Felt nice. 2.7 down, four degrees in doubt. Pretty stock like hybrido. Mm, those are nice. So you can have the 3200 spin shallow one. You yes. had the 5000 steep one, and then you've got kind of the low 4000 neutral one, and that's that's a lovely delivery. Your efficiency went up, and you, which is a reflection of how well you've struck that matty. Uh, what, did, what did that feel like to you to move the ball around as you did and subsequently how did the strike feel? So the, the best ball position felt nicely compressed, a little bit of turf but not much. Mm -hmm. Ball way too far back felt, yes compressed but it felt you know like you really yeah. jammed the club into the ground quite yeah. a bit. And then forward I actually felt quite a bit of turf prior to the mm -hmm. ball and then the, the strike straight low in the face. Yeah. So that, I think, and part of it is directionally, when the ball's in the right spot and you have the intention of just being slightly down, I felt the start line was quite easy to, to make it where you want it to be. Yeah, that start line, that's a good point, because pushing, uh, pushing the club down more gets, gets actually gets the club head moving a bit more left. Right. It hasn't, it hasn't quite, you know, traveled round enough yet. So when the club is moving down, guys, it's still technically moving outward um, so especially when you've got uh, a, an into out, four degree into out pass, your swing direction is leftward. Um, so that's that's good for keeping the face angles. We know as, as that face is ever closing. Yes. You know, as the as the club has kind of on its way up and the path is coming around, the face is closed over with that. Yeah. This is a shut face plus out in path where right. I'm holding the club exactly. right now. Exactly, that's a, that's a recipe for disaster. Okay, Matty, so we're on the, the back tournament tee, as we can see there. <laughs> yep. USGA have left their yardage marker up there, 288. Love it. Uh, we're, we're right on that, so um, it's tough. You know, it's 272 front edge, 293 back to the stick. Mm -hmm. You're going to need your Sunday best uh, to, to get it there, especially, uh, well, it's a little downhill, but not much at all. <laughs> we, yeah, we're going to have to optimize delivery Definitely. for you to get this there. So this is, this is most people's red line fairy wood. Uh, this is be pretty much your red line fairy wood. As far as I can hit it. As far as you can hit it. Yep. So let's, let's look at the shallow sort of maybe slightly healy, slightly thin mm. uh, player first. Gotcha, okay. So ball, the ball position too far up. Yep, so we've got it really on the front foot. Yep. And that's gonna, basically the, the swing arc is coming back this way. Yes. And you'll deliver the heel and a little bit on the up. Yep. Yeah, the player who doesn't quite trust they have enough loft and you know, they've kind of got that ball position too far up. Okay, gotcha. And often does that. I mean, that's <laughs> not. That's off the heel. And that happens all the time in here. Totally. Yeah. All the time. So what we'll see in this one is the amount of delivered loft is mm. just a little too, uh, a little too much. Probably mid twenties. Uh, oh, high twenties. Very high. Yeah. Gotcha. So a little across it. Strike was okay. Maybe a little yep. heel side. So 
So what you're struggling with there, Matt, is your ball position relative to your club path is actually what you're struggling with here. Right. So your club has traveled past the point of ideal. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, the athlete in you won't allow you to, to kind of not go chase it. You're, you're moving into it to go chase it, yeah, because right. the ball position gets forward, which is actually quite normal to do that. So normally the... I mean, normally I would stay what I would uh, be yeah. here and then I would hang back right. on it. So if you got if you got a fraction more into out in this uh -huh. one, that will help your angle attack. So maybe a little bit more of that player out in that one. So high launch, high spin, low speed is, is the... Yeah, uh, not much output. Strike is very low. It's, so it's basically impossible to access a good part of the head yeah. in that sense. Perfect. I mean, that is perfect. 4,400. Yeah. Looks like a hybrid. Yeah. Um, so you've apl applied lots of loft. You struck it low in the head. It's geared up. So the player who struggles, I mean, that's 20 yards short of your carry number of where you would need that to be. Mm -hmm. So the and ball. God help you in the wind, I'm assuming, right? Like that's. Killer. Absolute <laughs> killer. It's actually, you know, not even downwind is, is, is that even good. It's just that much of applied loft. The, the, the club has is passed beyond. The, the point where it's ideal to strike it. Yeah, you want to strike it here and the yeah. club is actually starting to do that. Yeah. Gotcha. So let's let's kind of go into the player who's playing it too far back now gotcha. and again. So I'm putting it pretty much where I had the hybrid. I'm, yep. you know, center of the stance and then back a ball or two. Yeah. And this person's really trying to drive the ball. Driving it down, they're, they're de off the club. This is the player we give. We give a lot of five woods to this type mm. of player because they struggle. Friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they can end up getting the, the low sort of uncontrollable one. Gotcha. It's just gonna work out. Well, if you're just, lucky. Just yeah. didn't, oh no, it did. Sneaky. Absolute best case scenario. Yep, yep. So that's pretty much it, eh? Six degrees is way too low. Yeah. Spin's not high enough for that amount of launch. Absolutely. Right, let's go with that again. Yeah, so I actually hit that one more centered. You can see it's not coming back. Yeah. Just going straight left. So you can see there's, there's no, real, no real flight to that. No. I mean, even if it hits the ground, it's a lottery as to what happens to it. That's um, a shot you would only play, you know, in the, uh, on the links if you really had to get through the wind. But it's, yeah. not, it's not a stock shot by any means. Not at all. Okay, let's move that ball position up uh, and, and move it sort of... Um, Couple of balls back of the right heel for you, for the okay. right handed goal for that be obviously yep. the, whatever the lead leg is. Front Two leg. balls back. Okay. Delivery that. numbers, Matty, if you are four or five into out and um, call it one up, delivered loft about 19, 20 okay. would be great. So basically down to about, zero. Yeah. That's a really good effort. It's pretty close. I mean, if I, were playing, if I were playing the US Open, I'd be skipping to the green. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, how, you mean you've just lapped the field with that one? There we go. That's as good as I can do. Should land on, basically, yes. That is lovely. All right, how'd that feel? Felt really good, so the ball, um, contact strike point was you know neither high or low so felt very centered right a little bit of uh, turf but you know hardly just a little bit of turf um just felt easy to get the ball to start online no kind of manipulations necessary guys hopefully there's a few answers in there for you uh i'm you know hoping that a light bulb went off at one point and you went yep that's me that sounds like the result i get uh we see it in the bays all the time you know we we work uh, around these sorts of issues. And as I say, the, the biggest thing I change with people is is literally a little bit of alignment and ball position. Yeah. Those those go a long, long way in, in the fitting bay. And people go, oh, well, I've been struggling, you know, to change my swing. You don't often, the, the swing can often be a consequence of bad setup fundamentals. You know, you hear the top pros all the time talk about they just went back to the fundamentals. They're not keeping a secret from you. I know. You know, there's, it's not something that they're not willing to share with you. The reality is, if the fundamentals are implemented correctly, the other stuff is more of a chain reaction uh, of, of good sequencing. Definitely. Right? Yeah, that's a great tip. Great okay. tip. Guys, um, 
hopefully this is maybe a, a little bit more uh, sort of in depth than uh, in some of our other videos, but helpful enough that you can get something from it. You know, the iron and driver one went down so well that we thought that this one would be a good little add on. And don't be surprised if we do something on wedges. Uh, I, know. I and, think people would love that. That yep. sort of thing as well to complete the series. I think it'd be quite helpful and something that you guys would benefit from. I agree. Excellent. Okay, guys, stay tuned for that. And if you want to see those, you need to be subscribing. <laughs> so make sure you do that as well. Hit the uh, notification button, the alarm, and it will tell you when we've got new content coming out. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.